Hello, friends! I'm so happy that you've all come to visit me here today at This Side Up, where we will be unboxing the most high-end toys and show you the most interesting things. Today, we're going to be unboxing the cool LEGO Technic race truck. Oh yeah! I saw it in the LEGO shop and I was simply unable to resist. But don't be sad if you're waiting for the new Star Wars toys. I'll return to build those figures in a future video. But today, we will build this super race truck. Come on! Friends, we will be happy to hear from you about what toy you want us to unbox next. You can write your suggestions in the comments below, and we will do our best to unbox your toy here on This Side Up as soon as we can. Once, we were talking about the LEGO Technic series. What we were discussing were the buildable figures, but this toy series has its own history. Technic, along with the system, is one of the LEGO company's main lines. It's based on creating detailed modeled machines and mechanical toys with specialized beams and connectors to create more details and more accurately and smoothly represent what they are. The concept was introduced as the Expert Builder series, and originally, technical sets in the 1977 was where they started, but was renamed Technic in 1984. In recent years, Technic pieces have been filtering in and out uh, among other LEGO sets, like the Power Miners and LEGO Bionicle. The style of LEGO Technic sets have been changing over time. Technic sets produced since the year 2000 use a different construction method, described as studless construction. Studs are of course the small little circular knobs which appear on the top of traditional Lego bricks. This method utilizes beams and pins like as you see in the Technic bricks. Okay, now it's time to take a closer look at one of these Technic toys. Let's first look at the box. The box is pretty well designed. In the center, there's a big picture of the model so anybody can look at it from a distance in detail. Here is the race car, and we see that it's a two-in-one model. The race truck is built into a race car. On the other side, there's a big picture of a race truck. It has cool red and black scheme with racing decals. The race truck measures over 5 inches high, 12 inches long, and 5 inches wide. But it looks like the race car measures about 3 inches high, 13 inches long and 5 inches wide. Whoa! Alright, I can't wait. Let's open it up! Alright, so I've opened the box and wow, there's a lot of packets in here. So many different parts and details. Where do we begin? Oh, instructions. Okay, of course. <laughs> okay, I've laid everything out. So let's look at what we have here. Okay, here's some big and small details of different kinds of fittings. Some of them look pretty familiar though. We've seen them in our previous videos with other LEGO buildable figures. Also, we have a lot of stickers in here. And as we all know, stickers are awesome. And it looks like we have two instructions. One for the truck and one for the car. So yes, I will start with it because the race car... Hmm... The race car seems to have the instructions right away on the, even on the official LEGO site. This is written on the box, and at the end of the second part of the instructions. So let's open up all the packets and start to begin to build this huge LEGO truck. We start with the base.
Okay, next step is the V8 engine. I really like the fact that you can build the engine for yourself. Awesome! Next is the transmission. Here you build not only the engine, but the most important parts of the truck as well. You get to build a real car yourself. So we fix the transmission to the base and continue. Our truck slowly becomes more and more detailed, and I have to finish with the first instruction, so let's take a look at what I should do next. Hmm, while I'm building the car, I think we need to stick on some stickers. I've been waiting for that. Only the finishing touches are left. Now the truck is ready. Let's take a look. The Technic race truck is huge. I've mentioned the dimensions, but I'm still pretty amazed at how big it really is. The front grill and what I can only guess is an intercooler, why it's in the back I don't know, are really cool features that sets this model apart from others. The steering works very smoothly, and the visible V8, which I guess is why they put it in mid-vehicle, is really cool to watch as it rolls along the floor. The stickers are great too, as they work for both models and are very easy to apply. Plus, there aren't too many parts in this set, and the tilting cab features a really realistic and great bonus. And now I have a question for all the LEGO lovers out there. My question is, what was the very first LEGO Technic model? I will be especially interested to read all your answers in the comments below. 
Now let's rate this toy. Safety, three points. Be very attentive. There are a lot of little details. Be careful not to lose any. Then, quality, five points. I really like how it's made and its playability. Originality, five points. It's a really cool idea that you get to build and see all the parts of the car yourself. Packaging, five points. As always, everything is very well packed. Lego does a great job with this. Finally is price. It looks like on Amazon, this set costs just under $70 at $69.98. Maybe some people might think it's overpriced, but it is just so darn fun. The color, the design, there's so many reasons for me to purchase this set and recommend it to everyone. Dear friends, I hope that you like this Lego Technic race truck as much as I did. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'll be waiting for your questions and remember to think about the toy that you would like to unbox with me next. So, until then, we'll see you soon here at This Side Up. Bye bye!